I'm Terry Oracle, and this is news for December of 2020. Starting out with a modern love tarot, this is from Ethany.com, as you'll see shortly. And a beautiful deck with a very thick book as well, $45. I did get on the early bird for this for $39 back in, I believe, June or July. But this is supposedly shipping next week very, very soon. So I'm looking forward to this. Originally was shipping back in November, but she updated the site, now shipping in December. I love the hand-drawn, hand-painted sort of look to it, as well as the course that is included free with the deck purchase. Not a bad deal for $45 when you compare it with other things. The White Newman, originally shipping in October, then moved to November, and then moved to January. It says February 2nd on the site. However, I do have an email that says it is coming in January. Who knows when this will arrive, but a sacred animal tarot. It looks pretty decent. I have been excited for that for quite some time. I wish they would just go ahead and ship it. Not really sure what the holdup is, but definitely something not right with the distribution of this particular deck. I believe it does come in a hardbound box for 25 bucks, so not a bad deal overall. John Matthews is back. That's right. John Matthews has printed quite a few tarots, and looks like a reprint is in order. The Byzantine tarot is one of the first ones there. I believe I bought this originally and gifted it. I also believe I had the Lost Tarot of Notre Dame and gifted that as well. John Matthews is a bit of an acquired taste, in my opinion. The decorative borders really don't bode well for the art style. It would have looked a lot better trimmed. However, I don't really want to go through and trim it. Just not a thing. In addition, the cards are $35. There are mixed reviews, some bad reviews on this. Let's go and look at John Matthews' profile here, if I can click on it, with his page. You can see there's quite a few products. Definitely John and Caitlin Matthews, I believe, have cranked out quite a lot of material over the years, for sure. So let's move on to the next one, which is Kickstarter and the... Taro Morandi. You will remember this before. I mean, it was on Kickstarter before. Unfortunately, the goal price was outrageously high. I believe they had a couple of hundred people interested in the deck, but it did not fund due to the outrageously high goal that they had set. Now, Molina draws a nice TDM. It is a good-looking TDM, very subdued. It's not just an over-the-top TDM, and it looks pretty. Very hand-painted look as well, and I like the overall approach that they used to this particular deck. It's not a bad price. It is coming fairly soon, and in February, it will be here. Only problem of... Uh, uh, Obviously, it's going to be the non-illustrated miners. I don't have a problem with that if you're reproducing a TDM. Yeah, non-illustrated miners are very iffy. You either love it or you hate it. For example, some of the pentacles are done quite well. Some of the swords are not done quite well. The wands overall are not done well. But if you're willing to put up with that, then that is available soon. Essential Tarot Writings. This is a culmination of old texts that is collected by Donald Tyson. The Kindle price on this is very high for a Kindle book. It almost makes sense just to get the paperback. But I did get the Kindle version of this. Obviously, some of these texts are available free from other sites, some of these, but he did add some bonus things, and there are some extras involved here. So there's some annotations and things like that. 
but the essays, the writings have been printed before. This is nothing new or revolutionary, but it is good to have it all in one spot. My only issue is the price is quite high. Normally for a Kindle book, you're looking at $10, $15 is the right price. That's a bit much. Teen Witch Tarot coming out soon. I'm not sure I'm excited about another Teen Witch. The cards look a little samey, a little bit sort of let's reuse this face or let's reuse an outfit. I believe the Teen Witch locale, the Teen Witch theme is a bit overused in my opinion. But if you're inter interested in this, it doesn't look bad. Very digital, doesn't look bad though. 25 bucks, not a bad price as well. So um, if you want to pick this up, there you go. The Tarot of Light. I believe this is a really large deck of cards. I think it's five by eight, which is what it's listed as, which is huge. But yeah, the graphics are very attractive and pretty. 35 bucks is, yeah, that is a bit much. Comes out in January. It says it's previously sold as another item number, which makes me think it's a reprint, maybe. But yeah, we have five by eight by two inches. If these are five by eight cards, that's, that's very large. And 35 bucks sort of matches the theme of oversized cards. I love the artwork. I like what they did with it. I think they spent some extra time on it. And the Tarot of Light looks like something I will be interested in coming up in January. The Dreamskeeper Tarot, supposedly shipped November 1st. I don't have it. I'm not sure where it is. I probably should have gotten in on the Kickstarter. My bad. But a distributed version of this, a mass market version for 25 bucks seems reasonable. Now, this is from Liz Houston coming out unknown date. I assumed that I would have it already. I pre-ordered it back in uh, August. So I'm assuming I'll get it eventually. The Tarot Vintage Cards. Another Rider weight, straight up reprint um, aged look on the cards. I think the Rider weight Vintage look and feel has been done before better. I think there are enough Rider Waite clones that are exact copies with a little bit of aging or a little bit of decorative things added that I would not choose this, but it is coming out August 8th at a reasonable $27. Now, their description says a new spin. I'm not really sure about a new spin or not. The Beauty of Horror, Fear Your Future Tarot Deck from Alan Robert. This is a cute little deck. Very watercolor look to it. A nice feel for it. I like the looks of the cards. I'm definitely picking this up, especially for a very reasonable 22 bucks. Now, Alan does have a color your own tarot deck where you can just put in your own colors if that is your choosing. That's kind of nice. I like that. I like that extra that they sell that separately, obviously. But... Yeah, let me see if we can find that. Would be great if it was on the recommended. Of course not. Okay. But June 15th, Alan Robert gives us this tarot. It looks great. Now, a lot of you have asked me about the tarot of oppositions. This was featured on the stream before by Pierluisa Zizi and Michelle D'Alonzio features characters with an alternate side on the bottom of the card. Good use of vertical space. Reasonably priced at $27. Bucks. I like the theme. It reminds me of the uh, in-between tarot with the bordered edges there. So the, you know, the edges, again, good use of vertical space. Maximize the space for the characters and put the little titles on the edge there. I like it. But there you go. It's an interesting deck. And I think it's going to be pretty popular with most people. I like the spin on getting that, the different aspects done. I think they did a good job. 
with the artwork and obviously the mirrored side, which is going to be what happens when you reverse the card, I think is a good use. Again, a vertical space. Definitely on my must-have list. Already did pre-order it. Coming out August 8th. Now, next up, the Tarot, Tarot e Nebi. There you go. Anima Antiqua. I believe these are large cards circa the Sola Busca, the TDM professional version, etc. I say that because the 35 bucks price and the style of the box is similar to the Sola Busca. So it is, is a lot, but if you are into classic decks, this is pretty, pretty attractive. Printed back in 1893. This is kind of interesting indeed. I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like. I will not be purchasing it myself, but I'm looking forward to this getting released. Now on to Kickstarter we go with the Bumbleberry Hollows Tarot deck. I'll be the first to admit that I'm infatuated with this deck. I tried not to be but it roped me in. It would not let me go, but I did try to not be infatuated with it. Unfortunately, I got hooked. I like how they draw you into their own little world. It's like they have, a own, they have their own little world that they pull you into, where you not only have the tarot deck, you have sticker sheet, you have cloths, you have a sweater, you have a tote bag, you have a notebook. I mean, I'm not sure what printer they're using, but they're working that printer. That printer is earning their money. I like the design as well. A lot of people say, I'm not sure I can create a tarot deck because my artistic abilities aren't a 10 out of 10, for example. You don't need it to be. I mean, this is not a hard thing to do. I think they did it very well. The bonus is coming out in January, very quick. Hardbound box, a bag, sticker sheets. We have a journal. Again, I'm, I'm talking about they pull you into this little world where you can enjoy this stuff. They got wax candles. They have reading claws, tote bag, sweaters. It's, it's its own little product section here of these things. And there's even a plushie that we're going to come to in a minute. So you can add on all of these items if you want. I like the, the font, the style, the little graphics match everything. Again, they pulled me in. They pulled me into their little world. And I appreciate that. I think that they did a bang up job with this. So obviously 400 people agree. This is their fourth deck. They aren't stupid. They know what they're doing. The sort of Legium Tarot, I butchered that. I'm sorry. Not a lot of backers. I got to say, only 35 backers. From Barcelona, Spain. English and Espanol. It looks good. Unfortunately, it's only majors. So it is limited to 22 cards. I would have liked to have seen a full deck. I realize when you release only majors, there's a lot of reasons. One, you could just be throwing your art out there and seeing if it sticks. Or you could have just limited time, or you could just want to sort of see how it's going to sell. The borders are a lot. This, I just scrolled through a picture of a borderless sort of a print or a borderless version, and it looked great. I wish they would have kept that. I'm not really sure if they may have another one coming with a borderless. That would be great, but you can see sort of the quality difference between the borderless and the, and the, and the bordered. But I love the artwork. If they made a full deck of this, I would buy it in a minute. It does remind me of many of the old school 2006, 2007 cards. Wandering Star Tarot Deck. This was a must have for me. Funded in seven hours for good reason. It looks great. It's priced decent. It looks great. And 
even though it does have a border, they really sort of fixed and matched the style on here as well. The bonus is it ships in December. So apparently after 21 days, they're going to ship it right out, which is a huge bonus. I mean, admit it. This is instant gratification at its best. It's reasonably priced. The artwork is great. And it has so much just fine detail. I think they did a bang up job overall. I'm pretty thrilled about this. I love where they went with most of everything. In addition, you get an extra card, gold foil backs, gold guild edges. You get high quality art paper. I'm not sure if that's 350 GSM or whatever. A UV matte smooth finish and a magnetic flip box with gold foil titles, plus a guidebook. I think they did quite well on this. They look ready to go. I'm assuming this is printed, sitting in boxes at their house, and literally ready to go. I like the extras too. A little incense is cute. You don't normally see incense. I think the tarot bag looks like it's made of felt. Lip balm? Oh, not. I don't think so. But incense and the felt, the pretty felt bag that I just saw, looks great. Good reason there are 400 people that want this. Definitely get in on this. The Wandering Star Tarot. Now, not sure how to pronounce this. The Lucille de la Me Tarot. 176 backers. I'm confused about several things. One is I see black and white miners and then colored in majors. And then I also see a different border style on this picture versus pictures below, like this here. At the top, I have a number on these pictures, but I don't have that on the screenshot above this one. So I'm kind of curious, which do you get? Which one do you actually receive? In addition, I'm curious if she is going to paint in the minor cards so they're not black and white. Or is this just a prototype? Obviously, it is Kickstarter. It's like I'm trying to drum up money for a Kickstarter. Here's you know, sort of my artwork. Here's my style. If you like it, back me and support me. That's what Kickstarter is all about. So this could be a prototype on the miners with coloring in later. Definitely something to ask or figure that out before we sort of go forth with it. It is a bit much at 50 bucks. A lot of the decks on here are 35, 40 bucks. I say that because there's so much competition right now. So here's the, the, the low border. Here's the slim border that I like. Really think that looks good. That matches well. It flows well. Below, when we look, so this is a thickened border there. And here we have a thickened border with a number up top. Obviously, the corners edges aren't rounded here. So, again, it could be a prototype. I don't know. But if you're interested in this, this definitely looks good. Love the artwork. This has a nice, wholesome feel to it. And I really think it's going to be a, a big plus to the tarot community. Elemental Tarot, coming in January. It has some retina burning colors in it, like this, for example. It is a unique style. If this is your style, definitely pick it up. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, I like the Egyptian, obviously, elements. I like the price at 27 bucks. Will I pick this up? Maybe not. By the way, speaking of pick it up, we have the Tasty Tarot or the Foodie Tarot. This is my deck that I'm working on. It will be borderless and it will look like this. It is a food-based tarot deck. It'll be priced at $39. If you get in on the Kickstarter December 15th, by the way, December 15th, it will be on Kickstarter. You can get the early bird price of $35. So, obviously, it is a whimsical, digital-based, fun, a lot of hand-drawn elements uh, put into Photoshop. 
deck. And it's going to be fun and entertaining. I don't see decks like this on Kickstarter very often. So hopefully it will be unique enough that people will be interested. If you are interested, take a look and uh, on Kickstarter December 15th. I hope that you will back me and support my artwork as well. So here's, here's hand-drawn elements put into Photoshop and, you know, sort of colored up a bit, made to look nice. A lot of vector and raster art combined here, but we have fun stuff like edible bugs. We have cute characters. We have some good lighting effects and whatnot that I made here. So if you like it, support me December 15th on Kickstarter. And the rumors are true. Did you know I had a Patreon? A Patreon is where you can support me. If you like the work I do, if you like the things that you see on the channel, consider supporting me. What do you get, you ask? By the way, 51 patrons. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for all of your support. Everybody on screen is a Patreon supporter. Thank you, and thank you again. I cannot tell you how much your support means to me. I greatly appreciate that. Now, why are they there, you ask? Well, you get all the handouts from all of my projects. So if I have a handout for the collabs or the Tarot and the Seasons, the Selling Your Tarot on Kickstarter, Psychic Fair Secrets, all of the handouts, all of the cheat sheets, you get it all, including all of my books that I've written, the Tarot Oracles book, Echoes of Nature book, and the upcoming book that I have for the Waterfall Tarot deck. In addition, you get the fluffy Virgo Lenormand and all the Lenormand cloths are all included. But the best part, one of the best parts as well, is I teach you how to draw. So if you're interested in drawing stuff, if you're interested in getting pet portraits out the window, I teach you secrets on how to do that in like four to five hours. You can draw the animals you see on the screen. I have secrets to how to do it super quickly. I have super quick method to where everything you see on the screen was done in four to five hours. What can you do with this? You can go to your local Facebook groups and sell it. You can go on Etsy and sell pet portraits and make some pretty good cash. I mean, on Etsy, just by the way, this is 15 hours, 15 to 20 hours of information and actual instruction. I show you all of the pencils to use, how to use them, all the techniques step by step, nice slow manner. And again, this is only four hours work. I mean, you see people on Etsy doing um, realistic pet stuff. They're charging over a hundred bucks. So, you know, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in cranking this out in like four hours, then uh, definitely see my course. My, my, my actual pets look better than that. My, that's, that's kind of, I mean, that is like a three-hour job there for me. Um, but yeah, the actual pets look better than that. I mean, can, look at that and compare it to that. I mean, mine look better. I mean, I'm just saying, mine look super realistic, and I only do it four to five hours. Anyway, thank you for supporting and watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you next time.